is vinted even worth the time and hassle that you have to invest into listing your items there. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Polish Pete, eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies clothing in bulk and I sell them individually on eBay for profit. I'm also an unpaid carer and for an elderly and disabled person who lives abroad and this is what takes the bulk of my time. Today I would like to talk about vintage. I've run some interesting tests for last few months on that platform and I've got the results for you today to answer if vintage is even worth the time and hassle to cross list your items from eBay to Vinted there. So for me, Vinted has never been considered as being even close to eBay in terms of ability to sell my items there. Yeah, there is just not enough buyers there. And for what I've got to sell, the prices are just rock bottom which I don't really want to accept this kind of prices. Also, those low sales that I've got there on Vinted, they don't justify using any type of cross-listing software, which I would have to pay for, because literally I would be paying more for the software that I'm able to earn there actually. So when I was going to UK in the middle of April, I knew that I will not have time to cross list on Vinted when I'm there. And because I will be busy in photograph with photographing and drafting my items on eBay. So I've decided not to touch Vinted for a month when I'm there. And also I knew when I will come back to Poland again, I will be busy with listing my items on eBay and my, I, my time will be better spent listing items on eBay than cross-listing them on, onto the Vinted. So I decided that I will, I will not cross-list for a month. So giving me kind of like a two months of not listing on Vinted at all. And I decided not to touch anything on Vinted, leave it as it is for those two full months and then check how many items will I be able to sell there in two months uh, out of 420 items that I had uh, there. And I have sold six, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, six, six of them out of 420 within two months, guys, within two months. Then number two, how many items will I have to remove from Vinted because they have sold on eBay during that, those two months. And number three, what's the proportion between them, you know, meaning for how many items, how many items do I actually have to cross list on Vinted and then take it down because they have sold on eBay to sell one item on Vinted, if that makes sense. So I need to cross list. I need to cross list some, some amount of items. Then I have to take them down because they are selling on eBay and they are, I sell one item on Vinted and on average, how many items did I have to cross list and take back? So cross listing a ton of items only to take them back down because they have sold on eBay makes literally makes no sense. Yeah. It's a, it's an unpaid work. And this is like a double handling as well, because I, you need to cross list them and then you need to go back there and take them down again. Also, by having my items listed on Vinted, I have to check the platform a couple of times a day if anything has sold over there to avoid the situation where an item sold has sold on both platforms at the same time, because I'm not using cross listing software. I have to do it manually. So I wanted to assess if really it makes sense in terms of time and effort. Now, cross-listing to Vinted takes me about two minutes. 
yeah maybe slightly less yeah but it takes me about the same amount of time to take the item down when it sells on ebay because on vinted there is no SKU number or anything like that so and you can't search your items uh, by title uh, and uh, at, at all so all, all you have to do is go and scroll through those 500 400 items that i have there scroll through them looking for the photo of the item of that has actually sold on ebay so it takes time basically it takes time that's literally like about four minutes per item now for every item that i sell on vinted i need to take down on average i need to take down 12 because they have sold on ebay right so that's 13 items listed one has sold 12 was taken down that's a lot that's a lot it's like an hour of work to sell one item on vinted an hour of work maybe three quarters of an hour yeah but good three quarters of an hour to sell one item and earn a fiver out of it yeah earn a fiver out of it because my uh, because buyers have to pay that fee on vinted because don't tell me there is no fee on vinted there is fee on vinted because buyers have to pay that fee on vinted i have to lower my prices as well so if i had it for 7.99 on ebay it will be 6.99 on vinted yeah so good 45 minutes to an hour to sell one item and that's on top of the work that you have already done by sourcing photographing packing and dispatching yeah that's a lot that's a lot of extra work yeah and, and like i've said fees are there don't tell me vinted is great because there is no fees fees are there only those fees are paid by the buyer instead of by the seller so you have to adjust your price to cover that anyway yeah to cover anyway and i still find buyers like se sending me ridiculous offers uh, say my item is 19.99 yeah 19.99 on ebay i list it on vinted for 16.99 yeah and buyers send me offers like five to seven quid on this one which is you know and it takes time to open that offer to decline it and all that kind of stuff when i know it it's gonna sell on ebay anyway yeah and i have items where on vinted where i have 15 watchers and i send an offer to every single one of them on this item 15 watchers and nothing sells and then it sells on ebay to the first watcher that i had there so and it's not like an isolated case it's a case that i had like half a dozen times already yeah with this amount of watchers that i'm getting on vinted with this amount of watchers i would be making like five extra sales on ebay if i had those watchers on ebay yeah and sending those offers on vinted takes time we have to because you have to do it one by one you can't do it in bulk so for me at this point there's absolutely no sense to cross list on vinted i still do it kind of hoping something will change but it doesn't change at all selling one to three items a week on average sometimes nothing when when i cross list five items a day which takes me say 20 20 minutes not even that 15 minutes 10 minutes so you know five items a day that's 35 items a week i cross list there 35 items a week and then i sell zero one two maximum three items a week so 35 items a week cross listed and like maximum three sold ridiculous 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 i just cross list 35 items there just to take down 15 because they have sold on ebay every single week every single week 
if I could sell on Vinted like 30, 40, 50 items a month, then I would be fine. I would cross list whatever because it makes sense. But cross listing 35 a week for four weeks, so 120, 130, 140 items every month, and then selling like five. What's the point in it? What's the point in it? Like I've said, I'm still cross-listing there, but I'm thinking maybe I should I should be smarter to do something else, basically. You know, I run my eBay business on seasonal basis. So when it's winter, I've got winter items on eBay. When it's summer, I've got summer items on eBay. Yeah? with evergreen items running like whole year round. So I figured it out if I cross list to Vinted, only items that are not active on eBay. So in summer, I will be cross listing winter items. In winter, I will be cross listing summer items. Maybe that will make sense because they will not sell on eBay at all because they are down, they are not active. And then maybe that will make sense because I won't have to kind of like go there to Vinted and take them down because they are selling on eBay. They won't be selling on eBay because they are not on, they are not live. So maybe that's the way to go. But then when I think about it, if I cross list five a day, five a day, five a day, five a day, then after six, after three months, I've got 500 items extra. And then adding to already 500 that I already have there. So I will have like a thousand items on eBay. And then when the season will change and those items will start to sell on eBay, then I will have to go and scroll down thousand items to find the one that has sold because you can't, you know, you can't search for them Anyhow, you have to just compare the photos. I don't know. I don't know. Some there are there are literally a lot of things to think about in terms of that vintage. But at this point, it's not worth my time and hustle to sell one item a week, two items a week. You have to answer yourself. It's if it's. Maybe you have a better success on this platform. But what I am selling, every time I list an item on Vinted, I cross list the item on Vinted, there is that suggested price. And always, 99% of times, it says one to three pounds, one to three pounds, one to three pounds. And I, 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 and I list it for a tenner, for 11, for six, for eight, because I'm not going to sell it for a quid. I pay the quid for it. So yeah, for me, it's a, it's not the best time on, on, on the planet Earth. Yeah. And with that being said, let me wrap it up here. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please don't forget to click that like button on your way out. Also, if you wish to support the channel further, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. God bless you all and bye-bye.